Hey guys, it's Katie again. So today I'm going to show you how to draw a tulip and a sunflower. Let's hit it. So we're going to start out by lightly drawing a circle to represent where the petals are going to go on the flower. Then I'm going to draw the main petal on the tulip using dark lines and quick motions. Once I do the rest of the petals, I make sure to go in the back and add extra ones for depth. Then I'm going to go in and draw where the stem meets the petals, so I draw a bit of a curve and leave a blank space for the actual stem to go. Once I get the stem finished, then it's time for the leaves. So when I draw the leaves, I do a straight line and then I kind of curve another line in to leave it bigger at the bottom. When you're drawing leaves, you can basically just go in with a curve and an oblong shape and you should be fine. Now it's time for details. So I'm going to go back up to the flower and color in the two petals that are behind the front of the tulip. Now this part's an extra step, but I think it always makes your flowers look pretty cool. So I like to do curved lines that follow the shape of the petal just to give it extra dimension. Then I add a couple extra finishing lines on the leaves, and voila! Your tulip is done! Okay, so let's get started on the sunflower. First, we're going to start with a really big but light circle. Then I'm going to go in and put a smaller circle in the middle, and then a smaller circle in the middle of that. Then for a tricky part, the petals. So I just start with putting petals randomly all over the flower because we're going to have to layer them later. Remember to draw some petals overlapping because it makes the flower look more full and more realistic. Now I'm going to go back into the center of the flower and shade it in lightly. After that, I'm going to make a small scribble around the circles that I drew. I think that this gives the bumpy effect of the middle of a sunflower without having to individually draw each dot. After that, I'm going to bring the stem all the way down and get started on the leaves. When I draw leaves, I kind of make them teardrop shape so that we can get the pointy tip but the round bottom.
After repeating that on the other side, I'm going to go in and draw the veins of the leaf. So this just means one line through the middle and then branching out to reach the edge. And once you've finished that, congratulations, your flowers are done.